Hi, I'm Søren Breinholt. I'm the CEO of Alligator Bioscience. Today we have our annual general meeting, and I wanted to take this opportunity to update you on the progress that we made at Alligator during the last 12 months and give you a preview of what we expect of key events in the coming 12 months. As you know, Alligator Bioscience is focused on developing immune oncology drugs to treat people with difficult to treat cancers. Our proprietary pipeline exists of a number of molecules ranging from preclinical development and all the way to phase two. In addition to that, we have a number of technologies that will allow us to continue to develop new and innovative drugs in immune oncology. To supplement our proprietary pipeline, we have a number of partnerships, including our collaboration with Orion, which is a licensed and early stage collaboration, and all the way to our phase two collaboration with Helios Bioscience on our molecule HLX-22. During this year, we have announced a number of uh, key milestones for our lead product, Metacellumab, which is in phase two clinical development in pancreatic cancer. Most notably, we provided initial interim data from the optimized one phase two study in pancreatic cancer, showing that in combination with chemotherapy, metacellumab increased the number of patients responding to this treatment to up to more than 50% of the patients, and also showing that more than 90% of the patients in this study had clinical benefit from, uh, from the combination of metacellumab with chemotherapy, and moreover, we, we, we provided uh, data to show that uh, the safety profile of metacellumab uh, was uh, benign in combination with, uh, with chemotherapy. These data are very encouraging and uh, strongly suggest that uh, metacellumab is a potential game changer in pancreatic cancer. We recently announced that the trial, the phase two trial, is fully recruited and we expect to read out the next set of interim data already mid this year, uh, containing more uh, objective response data, but importantly also progression-free survival data, giving us a good picture of the final readout of the study, which we expect to present in uh, the beginning of Q1 2024. So a lot of things going on in metacellumab and very encouraging data. Now let's take a look at uh, some of the other milestones that the Alligator team delivered on over the last 12 months. In addition to the clinical trial that, uh, data that we just discussed for metacellumab, we could recently announce that uh, metacellumab had obtained the uh, orphan drug designation from the US FDA. This is, of course, a stamp of quality from the US regulators, and we are very encouraged with, uh, with this designation as it bodes well for the continued development of metacellumab. Looking to the rest of our clinical pipeline, we delivered phase one uh, clinical trial on 1017 during Q4 last year. These data showed that the drug is safe and that it has the pharmacological mechanism and effect that we expect for a drug like this. We're very encouraged by these data and we are currently identifying a partner to enable us to uh, initiate phase two clinical development with 1017. During uh, Q4 last year, we obtained a R&D approval for our collaboration project uh, 527, which enabled us to initiate phase one clinical trials in February this year. I look very much forward to be able to share data with you from this trial, uh, hopefully towards the end of 2023. In addition, our partners at the uh, Health News uh, initiated phase two clinical development on uh, our collaboration project HLX 2022. On the partnership front, we were we started the year by announcing that we expanded our partnership with Orion, adding a second project to our collaboration and licensing agreement. Recently, we also announced that Orion had taken the development option in our first project two milestones that really emphasizes the importance and the strength of our collaboration with Orion. On the corporate side, we strengthen our board by adding Stefan Enkans and Denise Good, two seasoned executives who bring a lot of experience 
and business acumen to alligator sport and uh, really strengthen our our company for the time to come. And recently we announced the completion of a 180 million uh, SEC financing, which will allow Alligator to operate well into 2024 and allow us to deliver on the milestones uh, for the next coming 12 months. Taking a look at these milestones, we have a number of, uh, of key uh, points coming up in the next 12 months starting already uh, in, uh, in a couple of weeks where we will announce and discuss data from Metasalumab in pancreatic cancer at the uh, ESCO annual meeting in, uh, in Chicago. In June, we expect to provide additional uh, interim phase two data from Metasalumab in pancreatic cancer. We're looking very much forward to these data. These data will form the basis for our dialogue with the US regulators during the second half of uh, 2023, a discussion that will lead us and guide us uh, on how to best develop uh, metasalumab in pancreatic cancer. In the second half of, uh, of the year, we expect to receive orphan drug designation uh, also in, uh, in Europe for metasalumab, and we expect to uh, be able to share the first uh, Phase one clinical data on uh, on five two seven uh, with you, and then of course importantly in the beginning of Q one next year we expect to release the full top line data from the optimized one phase two study in pancreatic cancer, a true value inflection point for alligator bioscience, and then uh, also during the first half of twenty twenty four. We expect to be able to initiate Optimize 2, which is a second phase 2 trial with metasalumab in uh, metastatic uh, urothelial cancer. So all in all, a strong performance during 2022-2023, and we expect to continue this in the coming 12 months with a number of very important readouts from our trials, which all will be significant value drivers for alligators. And with those words, dear shareholder, I want to thank you on my own, on Alligator and our board, for your loyalty and your support on our journey towards developing new treatment options for people with hard-to-treat cancers. Thank you.